What's good, Grunt Shine? Guys, you can always join the channel. You get exclusive content for members only. Very cheap price. So I think we got a $1.99 tier and a $4.99 tier. Check that out. Um, also, guys, we're going to start trying to drop daily content. I'm going to really grind and start really doing a lot more content, maybe do some more motivational stuff, as well as dive into some of this true crime stuff. Today, we're going to talk about the Kylie Rodney case, why I believe maybe it was just an accident. Um, I'm not completely sold on this, but it's possible. And, and even with the toxicology report showing that she didn't really have a whole lot of alcohol, and other than that, all she had was nicotine, caffeine, and marijuana in her system. If you guys want to see the whole toxicology report, you can go check that out on Zagor Girl's channel. I'll try to link that video down in the description. But the reason I want to address this is because you got to remember, this is a girl who graduated at 16, two years early. This might have been the first time this girl really got into smoking pot or drinking. And this just shows the dangers of partying, you know. When someone don't have a tolerance, it you know a beer or two can really impair them and add a little weed to that. You know, it, it this is maybe a possible thing. Um, I, I don't know because, like I said, the toxicology report seems like she didn't have a whole lot in her system. Um, but that all said, her if this was one of the first times of her using marijuana and really drinking alcohol, then. This very well could have been a tragic accident, all due to her probably not having much experience, you know, as far as drinking or experience with smoking marijuana. So if you put that into perspective, you know, your first time maybe smoking marijuana and then maybe your second or third time drinking beer and then you combine them two together, you would be very impaired. Um, because your tolerance and you're not used to the effects of these drugs. So that's why I wanted to touch on this is people want to say, oh, well, she didn't, you know, the toxicology report shows a very low amount of ethanol, which is alcohol in her system. And, you know, it just don't, you know, people want to say it don't add up, but you got to put it in perspective. This is a 16 year old girl with her graduating two years early. This is a girl that probably was more into school than partying. She probably was not a partier. So I'm guessing this is one of her first encounters with these drugs. And that's why I believe maybe she was impaired enough to actually drive into the water. Uh, that all said, you know, I'm not saying this is hundred percent fact. This case has been, um, a roller coaster. There's been a lot of different opinions on what happened. There's a lot of people who believe there was some foul play and I'm not saying that's not possible, but, it, it just seemed to me with her background and what I could look up of Kylie Rodney, she was not the type of kid to be a stoner in high school or drinking every weekend. And that's why I kind of buy into the accident scenario because I think this is maybe one of the first times this girl cut loose, drank and smoked some pot. And it's sad that it may have ended in such a tragedy like this. That, well, that it did end in such a tragedy. And I want to touch on this because I always promoted recovery from addiction on this channel. And, you know, whether it be, you know, marijuana, alcohol, you know, when you're doing multiple different drugs, it could just definitely affect you. And, and I don't think young people take it serious enough to realize, you know, all it takes is one mistake. And, you know, like this girl ended up in a, in a tragedy where she drowned. And, uh, you know, you really got to watch what you do when it comes to using any type of illicit drugs. And, you know, my suggestion is it's just not worth it. It's not worth seeing if you're the type to get addicted and how it will affect your life. Because coming from someone in recovery, drugs can negatively affect your life no matter what. If you're the addictive type, marijuana can even negatively affect your life. It, just depends, you know, some people have that addictive gene in them, some people don't, and, and that really just depends on you as a person, but it's not worth finding out. So yeah, there's just so many things that people could have did to where this girl didn't end up in this tragedy. Um, I believe her friend Sammy, who 
said she got another ride home because she's seen how impaired Kelly was. She should feel guilty for not helping Kylie get home. If you seen she was this impaired, why did you not help her get a ride as well? Why would you leave and chance that she might be impaired and drive home? And, and that's the sad thing is that these kids didn't look out for each other more. But this just shows, you know, the dangers of, of using alcohol or any drugs. It don't matter if you're experienced at it. If you're not, you never know when the one time you might get too impaired and then you add driving to that. And it's just a recipe for disaster. So I hope people really learn from this accident. I hope young people see this and, and realize partying ain't worth it, man. And, and drinking and driving definitely ain't worth it. There's just uh, so much more to life than, than drugs and, and partying. Um, there's so much to enjoy out there. And it's a sad thing, this bright 16-year-old girl who graduated high school two years early and worked so hard to do so will never get to see that. So, guys, let me know what type of content you want moving forward. Also, Look forward to daily motivation, morning motivational videos. We'll try to drop them. I'll get on early tomorrow before I go to the gym and try to just, you know, speak my mind about how I try to stay motivated, what I do. Look, man, life's too short to be negative. You might as well push some positivity. Don't ever just make yourself a victim. You can push through anything. It's all about mindset. We're the only ones who hold ourselves back in life. So, y'all remember... Keep on grinding, keep on shining.